Uh, the Menden Twin Drive-In is is a go. They've been having some events down there, and this coming Saturday, they got a big show with Bon Jovi uh, being beamed in to the drive-in. And on the phone right now, we have Michael Andelman, who is uh, one of the guys who runs the Menden Twin Drive-in. And Michael, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Oh, Mike, thanks for having me on. If I'm a little slow today, we had a Grateful Dead night up there on Saturday, <laughs> and I. I had to get in the kitchen because we sold 18,000 pieces of fried dough. Wow, I wonder why that is. At a Grateful Dead event? Huh. You know? And I can't figure it out. With things being legal here in the Commonwealth? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, that's great. Are you going to have, like, I've heard, I, I love the Grateful Dead. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. I've heard nothing but great things about your Grateful Dead nights. Are you going to have another one this summer? We're going to have two more this summer. Nice. I think one in July, one in August. We have the band uh, Deadbeat play um, a three full set show. We show an old Grateful Dead concert um, on the big screen afterwards, maybe nice. from Foxborough or Buffalo, you know, nice. one of the 87, 88, or 89 tours usually because we have access to those. And uh, during the band, we just, the whole movie screen is psychedelic images yeah. the whole time the band is playing. So it's, it's a wild, great night. That's awesome. I will uh, definitely polish up my Birkenstocks for the uh, for the next dead <laughs> night. Um, but this Saturday, you got a very special show, uh, a very special performance by Bon Jovi, and you yeah. guys have done this the virtual concert thing before, right? I mean, this is this yeah. is a walk in the park for you guys. Yeah, yeah well, not a walk in the park, but it, <laughs> but it, what what a great night it is. So we started last year with Metallica, yeah. was, uh was one of the big ones that we did. And what happens is a band like Bon Jovi, they want to reach out safely. Um, there's going to be 300 drive-ins in the country that are showing this. So they're going to reach close to a million fans in one night. This concert is is only being played at drive-in movie theaters one night only, Saturday night, a full Bon Jovi show. And this is not like a cheesy thing from two years ago they recorded. This is for drive-in theaters where um, John Bon Jovi will you know talk to the audience, talk about drive-in. They'll, uh, they'll have shots from the drive-ins. And you know, Mike, the best part of a concert uh, as well, the concert is great, but tailgate is just as good. Yes. So <laughs> imagine in our giant parking lot, that's your seat for the night. So you park, and the tailgate and the concert become one colossal party. And it's, it's just nothing better. If you go to mendendrivein.com, um, you can buy tickets. It's eighty nine dollars for a whole car load, up to six people. So you're talking basically fifteen dollars to see an exclusive Bon Jovi concert. We also have a beer garden, uh, wine, uh, fire pits, uh, a full uh, full kitchen with burgers, dogs. So I mean, really, you get there at six o'clock. We'll be playing music. We'll do the full Bon Jovi concert. Talk about a great, safe night out for everyone. Yeah, that's awesome. Great for the whole family, too. And um, Friday, you yep. guys are doing the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I'm glad to see. I'm a big fan of that, too. Uh, and you have actors coming in to kind of lead the crowd and the usual Rocky Horror thing you do when you go see the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, what, what a crazy night this is. We put a full stage in front of the screen, and we have the biggest screen in New England. Um, RKO Players, which is which is the best Rocky Horror troupe out there, they come in, and so first we play Beetlejuice, oh, uh, nice. which is a fan, fan favorite. Yeah. And uh, after that, we take a short intermission, and then we play the full Rocky Horror with a full cast acting out the entire movie as it's going on. So um, about 20 actors come in, and they act out everything, and uh, audience members are allowed to bring props and throw stuff. Just don't ruin the screen for me, because we have to play Bon Jovi on <laughs> Saturday. And I don't think it would go too well if the if the, if the screen was, was stained with all the things that the Rocky Horror right. people were throwing. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that because usually there's like also like toilet paper and toast and water and all sorts of things being thrown at the Rocky Horror Picture Show. So I was going to ask you if you're ready for the cleanup the, there. The, the, the worst job at the Menden Twin Drive-In is cleanup after Rocky Horror. <laughs> I have to I have to pay teenagers like eighty seven dollars an hour for that for them to clean up after Rocky Horror. It's it's not a job I can fill. But you know the weather's supposed to be perfect this weekend. So on a Friday night, you get to see Rocky Horror live. On Saturday night, you have this exclusive Bon Jovi concert. And uh, when you're at the Menden Twin Drive, and a, a family said to me the other night, 
thank you, Mike, for being our bridge to normalcy. Right. And, and I thought that was a great way of putting it. Mm. If you're not ready to fully get out there, um, this is your place for you. If you're ready to party, this is the place for you. You know, you're spread out, you're, you're socially distanced, but yet you're communal. You're going to be mm-hmm. among so many people just smiling and laughing and it just, you know, Mike, it just makes you think of, wow, in a few months, we're going to be at real concerts. Right. Yeah, exactly. So do you have any other kind of like of these, you know, these virtual concerts going coming up this summer? Or do you have any live music planned for this summer? What other events you got going on? Yeah. There? So, so we'll, we'll announce a bunch of, uh, of these other virtual concerts. Uh, Florida Georgia Line is on sale for June. But what will end up happening is, you know, besides Grateful Dead and a few other nights, we're going to um, – Hollywood is actually coming out with movies, and, and our drive-in <laughs> is a first-run movie theater, um, and we haven't really played movies in a couple of years now. So you'll have um, In the Heights from um, Lynn manuel from, from, um, from Hamilton. His movie is coming out. You're going to have A Quiet Place 2, um, oh, Memorial yeah. Day weekend. You'll have Cruella from Disney and, and Black Widow from Disney and uh, Conjuring 3. So you're going to have a full Hollywood schedule as well as these special events. It's $30 a car for movies. You can bring up to six people. It's always double features. So it's going to be a real fun summer at the Men and Twin Drive-In. So uh, with that, I want to ask you, uh, way, way back in the day when I was in high school, growing up in Natick, the Natick Sack Cinema every Saturday night had a concert movie or a concert like a rock documentary or something like that. You know, would you guys consider doing anything like that, like showing having a concert movie, like showing Led Zeppelin song remains the same, you know, or, yeah. or, or something I, like that, like having a I, concert movie night? I love it. We did a Pearl Jam concert that came out a few years ago. It was only in theaters for like a day or two before it went to streaming. Um, and that was a big hit. We do a Beatles night once a year, and there's a new great Beatles movie coming out yes. um, at, at the end of August. So, you know, we, we're going to do a Beatles night that night. Um, but I love your idea. Last year, um, uh, if you've been to the Planetarium and never seen those Pink Floyd laser light shows. Yes. <laughs> we're going to be doing two or three of those this summer. Um, a Led Zeppelin one, a Pink Floyd one. So I think the perfect movie, we paired Dazed and Confused with Pink Floyd laser light show last year. Oh, my God. And uh, the parking lot looked like Spicoli's van. Yes. You know, for, for, for the entire <laughs> night. So, yeah, I, I think I think a rock show um, regular uh, with classic rock would be a huge hit with our audience. That would be great. And make sure for the Pink Floyd and the other laser shows that you're stocked with fried dough. All right? So you don't run out. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. We, we brought in so much fried dough that uh, <laughs> at, at a certain point, um, I could just watch the people gaining weight as the show was going on. Like, right. People were putting on five or ten pounds easily during intermission uh, uh, for, for the junk they were eating. That's awesome. All right. Michael Andelman from the Amended Twin Drive-In. You want to get tickets, you want to check on events, get any info you need about the drive-in, it's, it's MendonDriveIn.com, right, Michael? That's what it is. And, Mike, I promise not to get into your line of business. Will you please stop posting such tasty pictures on your social media? You're making me look bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a sickness I have. i got to take pictures of my food before I eat it. I, I don't know how to... I don't know how to explain it, you know? <laughs> I mean, you, 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 I could not do what you do, but, but unfortunately, easily, you can do what I do for a living at Phantom Gourmet, my other business. So, you know, you're going to put me out of a job. So oh. you, but you're, make, you're making me hungry. I would love to collaborate anytime, Michael. <laughs> anytime at all. Uh, thanks all right. so much for having me on. You got it. Michael Andelman right there, Mendon Twin Drive-In. For more info on the Bon Jovi Show and other stuff happening this summer, you can go to MendonDriveIn.com. <laughs> 